Uh, hi guys, uh, this is just a quick video that I'd make um, so regarding these little guys. There we go, party poppers. You know, you've all seen them, we all played with them, just your pointless little, uh, you know, throw some streamers around the place, little paper rubbish. Um, but they can be improved somewhat um, with this stuff, which looks like cotton wool, but is in fact, um, it's called Magician's Flash Cotton. It's available from uh, eBay or probably a few magician shops, um, and it can somewhat improve the fun can be had with a party popper. Um, so, what to do? Right, you get your party popper. On the side it says, do not dismantle. It's very important that, because what you want to do is you want to take that off, rip it off, and take it off and discard it, because you're going to dismantle it. So you just get a little little screwdriver or bit of wire and poke it in there take the top off like that and then you've got the streamers in there or confetti whatever you want to call it get rid of all of that and there's another bit of cardboard in there and we'll take that out and chuck that away so inside you can see there there's the little paper explosive snappy poppy bangy thing um, so what you want to do is you want to get get this stuff looks like cotton wool but it is in fact flash cotton not to be confused with gun cotton I think if you put gun cotton in these it'd be very bad um, so yeah magician's flash cotton is the stuff you want to use and you just fluff it up like this so you can see it gets nice and fluffy like cotton wool you get your party popper and you get a certain amount of it and just loosely poke it in there you don't want to compress it down too much and then you get the uh, little cap the paper cap that goes on the top, poke that back in there, a little fiddly, but get that back in there somehow, stuff it in there. Ideally you want to get it in so it looks like no one's been tampering with these things. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a bit rubbish but it should look like that. There's a couple I've made before. You know, so it's you never you're never gonna know. And I've been there. And then you pull the string, you get any extra flash cotton out of the way otherwise the whole lot will go up and then woohoo you get a huge great fireball which is all good fun. Um, so yeah, I've got a whole load to make here. Dead simple. Let's go through it again. Oh no, I've already made that one already. Don't want to take that one off. I'm losing track of what I'm doing here. But uh, it's probably a good idea, once you've made these, to identify them, mark them somehow. So I generally just take take the paper off just so you've got a bunch of black ones like that um, yes yeah, so start again take that off get rid of the streamers now these are obviously a bit of a fire whisk you can end up setting fire to stuff um, so uh, usual health and safety stuff don't give it to someone who's a complete idiot otherwise they'll probably 
set off in front of their face or something like stupid like that. Um, so, you know, if you burn your house down, burn yourself, whatever, with these, it's your own stupid fault, really, isn't it? Um, but it's probably a best if you're going to introduce a few of these to a party to let people know that they have been slightly improved somewhat um, and then uh, fun can be had it's always much better you go out on a dark night and start setting these off it's, uh, makes for quite a good show you can do a full on 21 gun salute or whatever you want with these things um, but yeah, quite frankly I don't know why they don't sell these in the shops maybe it's because they're a tad dangerous but it's probably the best modification of a party popper I haven't seen anything else like this out on YouTube so maybe I'm the first person in the world to invent this little beauty and so it was a good idea to share your ideas spread it through the world and people can uh, burn their houses down and shoot themselves in the face with these things but, uh, yeah, like I say, dead easy, dead easy to make, and loads of fun. When you buy the flash cotton, it comes in a bag like this. Um, the cotton's wet, so it's non-flammable. So you have to take these out of the bag, leave it on a radiator or whatever, and it dry out for a day or two. And then you can get making your party poppers. And these little suckers will definitely go with a decent kind of pop. Let's uh, angle the camera up a little bit. Let's change the view. Let's see the state of my living room. Let's turn the lights down low. There we go. Right, let's set a few off and you can see the fun that could be had. So Get the idea. Oh, it's back on. Yeah. So that, my friends, is how to improve a party popper. Enjoy. You're welcome. And goodbye.